Hello guys, welcome back to another driving lesson on driving TV. Today we're gonna go over street signals and traffic signs that you will come across as you start hitting the road and driving. Now let's begin by explaining the meaning of lines. Now, new drivers must clearly understand the meaning of the painted lines on the pavement and their respective colors. For this reason, we'll explain in detail how you should proceed according to the lines and their colors. For example, a double yellow line indicates that vehicles are moving in opposite directions. Vehicles traveling in either direction should not pass or cross these lines unless you're making a left turn when it is safe to do so. When you see double continuous lines, you should never pass another vehicle. However, if you have a broken yellow line, it indicates that vehicles are moving in opposite directions. Always stay to the right in this area and you can pass another vehicle on the left as long as it is safe to do so. One important thing when passing another vehicle on the left is never exceed the speed limit in that zone. Now, you will often come across and see this type of traffic sign in areas with such roads. The sign that I am talking about is a warning diamond that alerts us to a road divided by yellow lines. A single broken white line means you can cross this line to change lanes when it is safe. If you have a single continuous white line, you can drive in the same direction on both sides of the line. But you can never cross these lines unless you need to avoid danger. These lines are used to discourage lane changes near intersections. As I show you here, when you approach an intersection, you'll always see continuous white lines that indicate that once you're in your lane, you cannot cross these lines to change lanes while crossing an intersection. The place where most accidents happen is at intersections, so try not to cross lines or change lanes when you're passing through one. I received many suggestions from you saying you're unsure which part of the road to take when making a turn at an intersection or corner. First, we need to understand the type of road we're driving on. For example, if we're driving on a multi-lane road divided by broken white lines, we can change lanes. We should move to the left most lane if we're going to make a left turn. Once positioned in the left lane, when the green arrow indicates it's time to turn left, we should try to make the turn without leaving our lane. If we're in the leftmost lane, when making the turn, we should take the first lane to our left. Be very cautious because when making a turn at the next intersection, you need to try to avoid leaving your lane. You don't want to hit other vehicles or have an accident. Now, when turning right, we should always stay in the rightmost lane. Vehicles turning right should slow and signal well in advance. This way, we can communicate our intentions to other drivers. When turning from the right lane, we should end up in the rightmost lane. Don't forget, if you need to take a turn from a stop sign and the road is divided by... Um, Yellow lines, you should always stay on the right side of the road. After the yellow line, your car should remain in the right side of the road. I recommend practicing in a safe area with yellow lines in the center and stop signs so you can practice your right and left turns and clearly understand which part of, your, of the road you should take. Look, right here, I'm making a left turn and I must end up to the right of the yellow line. If I'm at a stop sign and I'm going to make a right turn, when I make the turn, I should also end up on the right side of the road. With practice, you'll clearly understand which part of the road you should take um, to drive properly. Now, let's talk about traffic lights at intersections because I feel like this is a very, a very important topic. Many of you have also left comments asking how to proceed at traffic lights at intersections. 
When approaching an intersection with a green light, you have full right of way. Always slow down a bit so you have time to react if the light changes to yellow. If the light is red, when you approach the intersection, you must come to a complete stop behind the crosswalk. The red light indicates that you must remain stopped until it turns green. If you're going to make a right turn and you have a red light, you must come to a complete stop behind the crosswalk. Now, before turning, you must yield to all approaching cyclists and pedestrians. Vehicles coming from the left have full right of way. Yield to all vehicles moving through the intersection before making a right turn. Check that there's no sign prohibiting a right turn on red, like this one that I'm showing you here. With this sign, you must wait for the green light to turn right. You cannot go with the red. When you intend to make a left turn at an intersection, always stay in the leftmost lane. From the left lane, you can attempt to make a left turn on a green light. But always keep in mind that when turning left on a green light, you must yield to all vehicles approaching from the opposite direction. They have the right of way. Understanding the procedure at a four-way stop is a bit difficult for many of you. If you approach an intersection with a four-way stop, this means that each driver has a stop sign. The driver who arrives first makes the stop, has the right to go first. If two vehicles arrive at the same time at the intersection and make their stop, the driver on the left must yield to the driver on the right. You can identify four-way stop signs by the sign below the stop sign that indicates four-way. Here's an example. This makes it different from a simple stop sign. When you see a stop sign with the sign below it, it indicates that all drivers have a stop sign. When you have a simple stop sign, stop behind the stop line, check that it's safe to proceed, and when it is uh, safe, proceed with caution. Roundabouts. So, roundabouts usually have a yield sign, and this red triangle you see here, it's the yield sign. The yield sign tells us that we must yield to vehicles already circulating in the roundabout. So if I approach a roundabout and I have a yield sign, but no vehicles are circulating, I don't need to stop. I can proceed with caution. We also must identify one-way streets. For example, here I'm approaching a street with a white arrow pointing left. This means that the street is one way. So I must drive in the direction of the arrow. There are places where entry is prohibited. And we see this sign, a red circle that says, do not enter. If you enter when you see this sign, you start driving in the wrong direction. Orange signs to our right indicate that the area is under construction. The area that is coming up on the road is being worked on. We should be prepared to reduce our speed and pay attention to all instructions in that area. If you're driving on the right, you might see a diamond shaped sign like this one, indicating a lane reduction ahead. In this case, a right lane reduction means you must prepare to merge into the left lane as the right lane will soon merge with the left. To your right, you'll also find speed limit signs. They're all over. <laughs> These white square signs with a number indicate the maximum speed you can go in that area. Always try not to exceed the indicated speed limit. Pay attention to your speed. And with that being said, everyone, if you're inexperienced and in the process of learning, I hope this lesson um, has been very um, helpful for you. Watch the video again if you need more time, more information. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And um, if you need to study for the written exam or learn the skills to practice for your driving test, this channel has all the helpful videos, tutorials that you can possibly need. So don't forget to subscribe and um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.